Welcome back to Wasteland 2, Super Nasally Edition. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of actually going outside, which means I promptly caught a cold. So, let that be a lesson to everybody. Don't go outside, ever. It's way too dangerous out there. My throat is doing mediocre, but the worst part is that my nose is just really congested, so I'm probably going to sound a bit nasally. But, uh, anyway. So we're getting a lay of land here in Rhodia. I think I've got a pretty good idea about kind of the politics that's going on and the issues that they're dealing with, but before we do anything too extreme, let's continue to explore and see everything that's here. So we got to explore the center of the crater and the east side. So let's go into the center of the crater. That water looks really nasty. Like this whole this whole crater here kind of looks like an anomaly from Stalker. Please repeat, ma'am. What's the situation again? It's them! God's militia bastards! They got my son! Where do they have your son, ma'am? In the town square. They set up one of their tent shows down there and they've been preaching and recruiting all day. But now they got my boy! And they say they're going to make an example of him. They say he's a sinner. Thank you, ma'am. And don't worry. We won't let your son die. Ranger Team Echo is on the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love my boy. Echo One, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. This is Echo One. Go ahead. Over. Roger, Echo One. Did you copy that transmission? Copy. 10-4, sending you the coordinates now. And we need this handled correctly, Echo One. This is a great chance to get another look at these gods' militia creeps and raise our rep at the same time. Don't mess it up. Santa Fe base out. Okay, um, I'm assuming I need to do that very quickly. Do... Do I not have a quest for it? Yeah, I don't actually have a quest for that. For that, but, um. She certainly made it sound like it was time dependent, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave. Uh, hopefully, that doesn't screw over the people in the town. Like, hopefully, by the time I get back, the people aren't all dead from the sickness, and. The, uh. The mayor hasn't turned into a skeleton in his cage. Great the news, everybody. We're holding a harvest contest. The farmer who delivers the most agave to the distillery by sundown tonight gets a hundred bullet first prize. Second prize is, you get to keep your farm. Third prize is full-time employment on my farm, which used to be yours. So get busy, yokels. Thanks. <laughs> I love how he signs off, signs off every time with, thanks. It's like, I own you. And I hate you, and you're a piece of shit, and I want you to do stuff for me, and I'm going to abuse you. Thanks. Uh, let me see if I have any more junk to sell. I don't think I really have gotten anything. Let's see. Ah, uh, a couple things. Keep the catnip, condoms. Empty cat litter bag. Ah. Uh, nah. I like the empty cat litter bag. It's empty. Just like my heart. Didn't really sell much at all, but sold a little bit. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, so to cure the sickness, I do need to go to... Uh, is is that even in my quests? Uh, yes it is. Yeah, asked us to get a working microscope from the Manorites, which is... at the Angel Oracle. So it's actually on the way. I'm not going to stop there because... I think that's less time dependent than saving that woman's son. But I can hit that on the way back, so that should work out pretty well. It's pretty far away away, though. And everything I've encountered so far has a 25% chance of avoiding the encounter, so I'm probably going to have to fight some robots on the way. Uh, 
Alright, I don't care what pops up, I'm not stopping. Good evening, Los Angeles. This is Mr. Manners, ready to receive your calls. We've got a caller from over on Pico. Go ahead, gentle caller. Serpents! Serpents from space! Help! We... <laughs> caller, please. Where are your manners? If you aren't going to be polite, we aren't going to give you the courtesy of a reply. Sorry. Sorry. I... Oh, okay. Dear Mr. Manners, there's some sort of serpent creature out here. It seems to have arms and big sharp teeth and is carrying a ray gun. And it came out of a disc that zoomed down out of the sky. They're everywhere. Scorpioids from Mars are everywhere. Well, how rude. Inexcusable nonsense. There is no Martian invasion. There are no space aliens in Los Angeles. Indeed. It sounds like you're reading random paragraphs out of some book. I should also add that if you call in again, Pico, we'll triangulate on your position and show you how far rudeness gets you. Well, I am truly sorry, gentle listeners, but unfortunately, we're out of time now thanks to our thoughtless guest. So, we're going to have to sign off. Until next time, this is Mr. Manners reminding you, stay polite, Los Angeles. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go now. Because that's gonna continue for a very long time, I think. I can't wait to meet the Mannerites. Am I gonna be polite to them, though, or should I just be as rude as possible? Help, Angel Oracle, help. Um, wait, who, who's talking? What? I'm sorry, gentle victim, what was that? Uh... Dear Mr. Manners, some uh, uninvited guests have rudely barged into our home and they refuse to leave, no matter how strongly we ask. They're wearing cowboy hats and shooting everyone. Can you please come teach them some manners? Gentle host, transmit your coordinates and we'll have some civility enforcers there immediately. Her, uh, I mean, we look forward to your hasty arrival. Thank you. Faintly heard as she hangs up. Die, you bastards, die! Echo one, this is Santa Fe base. Come in. Okay, what the hell did I just hear? Is that was that the people here calling for the uh, reinforcements to keep me out, lying about us or something? Because we weren't shooting anything. Uh, this is Echo one. Go ahead, over. Okay, voice disappeared. Don't know if you've heard that last Mannerite distress call, but you are very close to that location and might be able to reach it quicker. The Mannerites might not like us messing in their patch, but this sounds like a situation where seconds count. Copy? Oh. Okay. Sure. Is it in this town, or...? No, they just said, transmit your coordinates, so I don't know. 10-4 Echo 1, sending you the coordinates now. Get there ASAP. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I'm not sure which of these are time dependent. Based on, based on what Woodson just said, it sounds like the coordinates he just gave me are to the thing that are most is to the thing that is most time dependent. Because he said this might be a thing where seconds count. But it sounded like that woman's son was going to die quite soon too, and every day farmers are dying from the sickness back in Rhodia, so. Well, just putting out fires as they pop up, I guess. Let's go back out. Didn't I just come through there? How did I miss it? Oh, I guess I was a little bit east of it. Yeah, I kind of came through here. 
Ooh. That's interesting. It's like a massive ship. I'm sure the Manorites are not going to like the fact that I'm preempting their rescue. I'm sure that's quite rude. You're too late. Whatever, whatever happened to this isolated community, it's over. What? Could I have possibly been faster? I went straight there, literally. What the fuck? Okay. When he said seconds count, does he literally mean, like, stop listening to this message, run there? Uh, okay. All that's left are the bullet-riddled corpses of the townsfolk. It's a massacre. Only the flies and rats are still alive. Okay, what happened here? Manorite cutter. Okay, so the Manorites actually got here. Of course, the Manorites have fedoras. These people were gunned down in cold blood. Most of them weren't even armed, though it looks like a few fought desperately. There is also a trail of blood leading south. G3? Hmm. I don't think that's very good. But let's check it out. <laughs> the civility enforcer gunner just has a merkin on him. Sure, why not? Everybody should have a merkin in their pocket. Mustache wax. Alright, let's check these guns out. Compared to the AK-97, well, they're worth a lot less money, so they're probably not better. Let's see, da oh god, damage is way, way lower. No way, just for that reason alone, it's not even close to worth it. It does, like, half damage. Actually, the minimum damage is less than half damage. And the maximum is slightly more than half damage, but regardless, yeah, that's... No, that's terrible. However... They are high-tier weapons, so I can probably get some good stuff if I collapse them. Quick mag, cool. Long barrel, that's actually excellent. I don't have any barrel modifications. High capacity mag, don't care. High capacity mag, still don't care. Okay, this barrel. Um, that is good for snipers. It's especially good for snipers. Increases maximum range and also increases the optimal range. So she's already got a she's already got one on her normal sniper. She doesn't have one on the anti-material rifle. But the range on the anti-material rifle is already obscene. And I believe Vulture's Cry is missing. Yeah, she does not have a barrel attachment on either of her snipers. Let's put it on this one, because this is the more reliable sniper. Okay, looks like some of the civility enforcers are left alive, and that looks like a bag of cat litter. Another massacre, but at least these victims were armed. White, tire-clad, Manorite civility enforcers lie shot to pieces amid the rusted ruins of long-abandoned cars. There is blood everywhere and graffiti on the walls. Another ranger's circle star. Wait, what? Another ranger's circle star, what are you talking about? What the hell? You recognize that symbol? It's the Ranger Circle Star. How did that get there? 
Yeah, how did that get there? What the hell? I mean, this is the first time the Rangers have ever actually gotten to California. We didn't even know it existed until, like, a couple days ago. Medic pack. Ooh. That thing's fancy. Heals a lot. I'm gonna get overloaded so, so fast on this loot. Under one of the nearby cars, you find the remains of a synthetic arm. It looks like it was the children of the Citadel who did this. Robots. Hello there. Please keep your weapons lowered and identify yourselves. <laughs> Nobody has hard ass. We're the Desert Rangers. We have heard that name. And did you... Did you perpetuate, uh, perpetrate this slaughter, Desert Rangers? <laughs> Why would I want to take credit for it? <laughs> no. Can you prove you're telling the truth? We have seen your graffiti here and in the village. It looks like we caught you red-handed. Oh, for the love of God. So somebody... That means somebody's trying to get us blamed. Someone's trying to blame the Desert Rangers. Someone's trying to ruin our reputation. Why? And who? The robots? I mean, who else would even know about the... I'm... Unless I'm mistaken, the only people that could really possibly know about the Desert Rangers. Well, I mean, we did just set up a presence and broadcast messages. So at this point, maybe it could be anyone, but the only one who would have kind of advanced notice... Advanced notice of the Rangers coming into this area would be whoever shot down or found the wreckage of Angela and whoever else flew into L.A. Team Foxtrot, or whatever they're called. Uh, anyway. <laughs> they're not as red as they're going to be. Wait. They're not as red as they're going... I, th I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to say they're not as red as you're going to be, asshole, but instead it says they're not as red as they're going to be. Which doesn't even make sense. Interesting. These two options, actually. I don't, I'm not sure which one's better. They're all about manners. So I could say, it would be polite of you to give us the benefit of the doubt. I'm not really sure which one's better, but let's just go with the truth. The truth is, the children, the children of the Citadel, Citadel did this. Look, it's made of plastic. Not good enough, Rangers. You might have planted that to blame this massacre on the synths. Or maybe the sins planted our graffiti to blame it on us. I... <sighs> Alright, Rangers. You have opened room for doubt. But until we uncover the truth, I will not risk the lives of further enforcers to teach you manners. The field is yours, gentle butchers. But you are known to us now. Okay, they want me to leave. the hell? They hoisted somebody up on this thing. So I suppose that means I can't get the cat litter, huh? Shit. Well, I'll have to come back or something. <laughs> now what was it about the blood trail leading south? Because I, I can't actually go south. South is this way. It's off the ship. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I missed it. Missed it here. Uh, Desert Ranger symbol. Okay, let's go try to put out another fire. And let me guess, by the time I get there, her son's already gonna be dead. And then by the time I get back to Rodia, everybody's dead from the sickness. Echo One, this is Santa Fe Base. Come in. This is Echo One. Go ahead, over. Roger, Echo One. Getting a lot of chatter on the Manorite's private frequency said they found you at the site with many civilians dead and no hostiles. They seem to think you might have killed the Civs. 
What happened out there? Well, it's a long story, but uh, we kind of got on like a cocaine-fueled drug trip, and uh, we got a little trigger happy. Uh, I mean, the civilians were dead when we arrived. Copy, Uncle One. All dead before you got there. Any signs of who did it? We found a synth arm. God damn synth. Those plastic punks trying to fuck us up any way they can. Listen, Echo One, we can't let this happen. We have to find proof of who's really behind these attacks. Something we can show the Manorites. That's priority one from now on. Copy? Copy. Over. 10-4. Stay safe. Santa Fe base out. Where would I find proof? I don't know, should I still go to Santa Monica? I'm trying to remember who's actually in Santa Monica. Like, what, what faction is there? Because if the Manorites are at Santa Monica, then I probably don't want to go there. I don't remember, and I can't look at my quests on the overhead map, or the, the world map, so I guess let's just go. Santa Monica. Wasn't that the name of a rock song that was playable on the radio in Indigo Prophecy? I think it was. Okay, uh, I was gonna loot that, like, thing over there, but, uh, can't save it this time. Alright, let's... Let's go fast. That's my... Oh, that's her. Excuse me, Preacher El Ginto, who looks like Elvis, kinda? So, something looks wrong about that picture. Something looks deeply wrong about that picture there. Look, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like his arm, holding the gun, is like... It looks like it can't possibly be at that angle. It looks like his arm is not actually attached to his shoulder. I don't know, that looks weird to me. Anyway. A wiry, pale man in the black pompadour wig and red polyester leisure suit that is the uniform of the Preachers of the Salvation Church. His fingers twitch on the trigger of his gun, and eyes are full of zeal. Well, now, who's this? Itching to hear the word of the Lord, friends? Well, come on and join us. Just keep your guns stowed, and we'll all get along just fine. I don't know if I want to identify as the Desert Rangers. They might have heard bad things about us. But then again, we did save that guy and his dogs, so maybe he's spread some good word about us? I don't know. Depends on if the Manorites have been talking since I last saw them about 20 seconds ago. But given that you can be told that you need to get somewhere immediately, go there immediately and then everybody's dead, you know, maybe like 20 years have passed. Who knows? I don't even know where to start. Who is us? Us? Why, we're the Salvation Church and God's militia. The bringer of light into the darkness of the end times. Preaching the gospel of Jesus, James King, and the Red Messiah himself, Luke Sampson. Well, we're the Desert Rangers. Well, my, my. Heard good things about you, folks. Good to meet you at last. Welcome. Oh, okay. Looks like the good news has traveled faster than the bad news. What Lord are you talking about? Friend, if you don't know who the Lord Jesus Christ is, then you're in the right place. We're laying down his law right here now. Stick around and you'll learn a thing or two. What law? What Jesus says is law, and Jesus says sinners must be saved. 
Well, the only way we know to save him is to send him to his judgment in heaven. And we do that one bullet at a time. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. And what is this man's sin? Friends, this man is an eater of shellfish. <laughs> Friends, this man is an eater of shellfish. A deviant who takes the flesh of aquatic creatures lacking fins or scales into his mouth. As prescribed in Deuteronomy 14 colon 9 dash 10 exclamation mark exclamation mark. He is an abomination and a horror that must be scoured from the face of this earth. As must all who shelter him and his ilk. Okay. Hopefully I can pass one of the two skill checks here. Let's see. Kiss-ass kiss -ass level 8. Oh god, please tell me I have kiss-ass level 8. If not, I'm going to so regret not wearing that ring or whatever the hell I have that increases my kiss-ass. Uh, or hard-ass. Okay, I don't have hard-ass. Is my kiss-ass level 8? Please? <laughs> it's 7. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. God damn it. Can I end the conversation and put on whatever I have that might increase my... I don't even know if I have something that increases my kiss ass. But, um, obviously if you can't pass, pass the skill check, then you have to say goodbye, which means... I don't think they're going to give you another opportunity. Is there a keyword? G give me a sec second, please. I need to put on a trinket. <clears throat> if I say goodbye, I think I might have to kill him. Which means I probably have to kill everybody around here who has a gun. Which would be you, and you, and you. At least four people. Fuck. Hold on. Bring out the sicko's dinner companion. Wait, 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 what's going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause the game, Jesus, I need to, do I have a fucking trinket? I don't know what's happening, but I need to find if I have a trinket. Please, do I have a trinket? Fuck. I don't know if I have one. What's going on? Because you're all near this lost, I, I don't know what the hell they're saying. I don't think, I don't think I have a trinket that increases what I want it to increase. Ah, perception, no, no. The dildo won't help either. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, piece of shit! Yeah, you melt into a puddle of flesh. Wait, that <laughs> person's name is Nun Sprayer? Ooh, risque. I perhaps could have talked to him again while he was talking, and uh, maybe done something else, but given that I didn't pass the first skill check, uh, probably not. That does mean that I'm going to spend my next skill points on leveling up my speech, without a doubt. Okay, what's what's y'all's armor? Seven armor? Holy shit! These people are elite. That means I can actually use my energy weapons against them. Yeah, I guess I will. Probably gonna tank my reputation here in the wastes. Oh well. Bringing them to justice. <laughs> They're gonna get a lot of turns in a second here. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. 
Uh, in fact, I'm going to use my anti-material rifle here. Yeah, I'm saving it for... I was saving it for big robots, but... Given that these people have seven armor, they're basically robots. I mean, hell, they have more armor than the robots I was actually fighting before. Do I want to go for a headshot? Ooh. If I make this hit, there's a pretty good chance they die in one hit. If I don't... Well, yeah. I'll take it. Come on, don't miss! Oh, so close! Three hit points away! Oh. Yeah, punch him good. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Oh, God. Haha. <laughs> oh, my God. They have a lot of good weapons for us here. Yeah, we just... They just took out, like, half our health just with through grenades and AoE stuff. But it's okay, we got a bunch of turns. Although, it looks like this Priest Gunslinger is actually going to go kind of in the... Yeah, he's kind of... He's going to go pretty soon, so we need to kill him first. Uh, do I want to use the Sabra Marie? It's extremely variable. It does have more armor penetration, though, so I guess I'm going to use it. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine. I can't take a knee and do a headshot. I could just do a headshot. No, it's not worth it. Let's crouch and shoot. Sixty-eight. Okay. So I, I rolled rolled decent on the ten to ninety-eight damage. Um. I think I'd do more damage if I just use this thing. That wasn't much. Shit. Alright, I need to kill him this turn, or he's gonna get to go. And unfortunately, I only have Theodore to do that with, which is not great. Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Hey, thank you, Provost. You killed the nun squirter. I, I mean, sprayer. Alright, he's not going to go for a while, so let's focus on the nun lobber. I'll have no more nunnery from you. 157, nice. Let's use the anti-material rifle. Uh, there's no reason to use a headshot because this is a guaranteed kill. Whew. Goodbye, arm. Who needs a doctor when you can perform amputations with a gun? Who's going next? You. Let's tenderize this dude. Oh, seven hit points, come on. Alright, that is their entire term unjamming, nice. Uh, who's gonna get to kill this dude? I mean, whoever gets to kill him is basically going to waste their turn on that crap, unfortunately. It's going to have to be either Vulture's Cry or Pazepi. Uh, let's let Pazepi do that, because she might be able to shoot him with a half, with like a normal burst of her gun and then shoot somebody else, so. I'll let her do that, and I might be able to kill this commando if this headshot hits. And if I roll high. Roll high, roll high! Eh. Decent. Alright. Yeah, so I can actually do this. And then, yeah, I can clean you up. Two damage, thank you. Friendly fire? No, thank you. Um, we have a bunch of turns until we need to go, so let's not waste am ammunition of the anti-material rifle. Let's swap to the M24. And we can take a knee and headshot. Did 
you really just miss all three shots? <sighs> okay. Well, all things considered, I'd say that's a pretty damn good outcome. Um, everybody died. Sweet. See? The rangers are always helpful. Wasteland Hawk. Ah, oh, it's a Desert Eagle. <laughs> Desert Eagle, Wasteland Hawk. Ooh. A spaz. Check that out. Bag of Zeolite, holy shit. Why, thank you. Piece of shit. Another spaz. What the? Oh. I guess he was bleeding. Sorry, man. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bring you back. Oh, no, you're good. Uh, hold on, which the what's the crappiest? That's the crappiest. Yeah, we need to do a lot of healing here. Let's call in. Copy range. Echo, congratulations, Echo One. Heal everyone else. Uh, I'll leave him out that health, actually. I don't want to waste part of the med kit. But I'm not going to heal Vulture's Cry, because she's probably going to level up, which will heal her automatically. Okay. Skill points. Who leveled up? Not sure. Six. Okay, that is going to kiss ass. Zeppi, one more skill point, I can upgrade Smartass. Okay, oh, eight points. Let's do Mechanical Repair. What the hell is this? Candle Stub. Okay. There's a toaster. Oh, we're going over there. Let's check out the spaz. Alright, compared to the tactical shotgun, it's worth a little bit more money, which is a good sign. Uh, it does way more damage. Hit chance the same, crit chance the same, crit multiplier is significantly higher. Blah, blah, blah. Range is the same. Capacity is higher. The cone is larger. Penetration is better. It costs a bit more AP. But I can get a 3 burst for 8 AP, which is incredibly good. That Yeah, that is awesome. That, that is really, really awesome. I think it's beautiful. Oh, is that electronic? Oh my god! 12%? Holy crap! Okay, uh, let's put on his plus one computer science. That gives him nine computer science. How? This is like a, a level 10 challenge, I think. Jeez. There's a pretty good chance of failure here, actually. Wonderful. And the chance of repairing it's probably even lower. In fact, I can't even repair it. Cool.
All right, let's get out of here. I think Woodson's gonna approve of what we did. Didn't save the day and then killed everybody. Nice. Brothers and sisters, one of our Crusader squads ran into a bunch of interfering vigilantes today who call themselves the Desert Rangers. <coughs> From what we can see so far, they are not to be trusted. Not only did they interfere in our militia's God-given right to dispense God's vengeance, they attacked us without provocation. This, then, is a warning, brothers and sisters. The Desert Rangers may wear the uniforms and tin stars of lawmen, but they are decidedly on the side of sin, perversion, and wickedness. Beware their smiles, friends. Beware their smiles. Oh no, a bunch of pieces of shit don't like me. I'm so sad. Alright, let's head over here and see if we can find a microscope. I'd just like to point out that this is going really fucking bad. Like, we just went super fast over to the Playa del Rey and found everybody already dead. Then we went back to Santa Monica and everybody died. I'm probably going to go here and the microscope will be smashed and there isn't a microscope in the world. And then I'll go back to the Rhodia and everybody's dead of the sickness already. Well, we're going to fight. Bring it on. Alright, well, they unfortunately have us at a disadvantage, because they have a height advantage, and we don't. So... Shit. I can't even see any of them. Should I run up, or wait for them to come to us? Let's wait for them to come to us. Lost control. Nice, dude. Thank you. Wonderful. You're so smart. Fucking idiot. I mean, I love you. Thankfully, they all have energy weapons which are absolutely terrible against us. Okay, well, despite the height advantage and the fact that you're kind of through a wall, I have a 95% chance to hit you, which is pretty damn good. Who's going next? You? Alright, it's this guy, so let's shoot him. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't have enough AP to headshot and crouch. So let's just... Do I want to crouch, though? I might have to move pretty soon. Nah, I'm not going to crouch. Okay, roll the medium there. Let's uh, shoot and then move. This height advantage is really screwing us. All right, well, Lex Kinium's up there. We gotta go. I'm just gonna get in there. Ooh! Nice. 36%? That is terrible. Oh my god, these people are really bad. I'm actually getting fairly good shot angles here, despite the height disadvantage. I'm actually going to crouch and shoot here. Damn! 78. It's nasty. Alright, how much armor do they have? Four, so not enough to use an energy weapon for the most part. Uh, let's just get up there. I want to see if I can get some use out of this triple burst on my shotgun. Ooh, 
Ooh, six damage. I'm scared. I don't know why I crouched, because I had a 100% chance to hit anyway. You know, it's probably better just to... Yeah, so this allows me to shoot five shots. This allows me to shoot three. So if I do this, I can only do this once per turn. I can only get five shots. But if I do two singles, then I actually get six shots. So it's actually better to do this. Look at these amazing shots. Who's going next? Harper's actually not doing too great. Maybe I want to keep him down here. You know what? I'm actually going to keep him into safe in safety. Yeah, because he's not doing great. Okay, let's get some use out of the shotgun. So it's got a nice wide angle. Let's go... Hmm. I really want this three burst. <laughs> There's a three percent chance to hit, my god. See if I can hit him and not Helen. Uh, or that's not Helen, that's Pazepi. There we go. Be very, very careful, Pazepi. Just don't move. Okay, trust me. Let's go scare this guy out. Come on, get out of cover, you jackass. You coward. Oh. Oh, God. Did the game just break? Oh, for the fuck's sake, the camera... Look, oh. It did the camera bug again. Okay, uh, maybe I can get out of this. Hold on, whose turn is it? Hers? Sure, go somewhere, whatever. Okay, it's still broken. <laughs> Maybe if I rotate the camera so this icon is over the actual person's head? Oh, oh, let's put it there. Cool. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, now the camera's working. Cool. See if we can shoot through this window. Nope. Hide down there. Okay, more shotgun action. 3%, that's terrible. 8%, that's still terrible. So. Uh, let's just go kill this guy. <laughs> Lucky crit, nice. Uh, just ambush, I guess. Okay, we got Helen. Three points, not enough. And Vulture's Cry. Four points, not enough. You are bleeding. I better heal you before you accidentally die. Four. 
Flash Suppressor. Hmm. The only thing it does is increase your chance to hit significantly. Wow. So there's no negatives whatsoever. That's really good. Uh, it requires eight weaponsmithing. I might not, I might not even have that much weaponsmithing. Never-ending story tape. Does the tape never end? Is it circular? Okay, so if I want to increase how much something can hit, I can put this on. It's a barrel. Uh, wait, do I even have eight weapons spinning? I don't. I can't even use it. I need one more point. What is this? The sign says, The city of 44 islands. The urge to count them is almost overwhelming. I'm assuming that's a reference to something? Okay, well, I'm going to head to the Angel Oracle in just a second. And by just a second, I mean next episode, which is not actually just a second. I'm not sure why I said that, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.